This is the daily video update for Tuesday, September 13th, 2022 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Um, this is somehow already the third week of the month of September. Um, more uh, specifically, this Thursday is the third Thursday of September. Third Thursdays, we usually have a worship service of some kind here at the Unitari Unitarian Church. Um, about every other month, it's a service with the A Street Band with a lot of music and, uh, and uh, joyful noise. And then in off months, um, like this one, we, we experiment with something different in worship. Um, so one of the, what we're going to do this week on Thursday night is we're going to gather at 7 and we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, about collective trauma. I wrote about this in the e-blast um, today, but in case you're seeing the video instead of reading the e-blast, um, writing about collective trauma, uh, Elizabeth Bowes writes that in the aftermath of suffering, survivors face the challenge of understanding the event itself, the traumatic event itself. The story needs to be told, an account formed. This is an important first step in the process of representation. Now, there is relatively little scholarly work done about the COVID-19 pandemic. The research that I'm doing this fall is one of the first, as far as I know. But what little is out there agrees on one really important point, that COVID-19 can, can be understood as a collectively traumatic event. One of the things that that means is that it does not have to have been individually traumatic in order to have an effect on a community, right? In if a, a hurricane hits your town, your house might be fine, but we would still approach how we think about that town system as a town that has experienced a collective trauma, right? So on Thursday night, um, we're going to gather and talk about that. We're going to talk about how we can conceive of, of what we have been through as a collectively traumatic event, and then also talk about how that might apply to us as a community at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, what tools we have to respond to it, and then what our next steps might be. And then as part of that, afterwards, um, you'll have an opportunity to sit down with another member of the congregation and record your contribution to UCL's oral history of the pandemic. Remember that first quote that we started with, the story needs to be told, an account formed. You, we face the challenge of understanding the event itself. That's the first step. So that's what we'll do on Thursday night. I hope to see many of you there. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to putting it together. I'm also looking forward to sharing more of what I've been doing on, on sort of the research side of this demon rather than just the, the um, collection of data, which I think is what mostly what you've seen so far. Until then, uh, have a great night, everybody, and I will see you on Thursday.